Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you've been around this channel for a while, you know I'm a fan of Cocos Creator, and they just did a pretty major release with Cocos Creator 2.1. Now that doesn't sound that major, uh, but it actually has some pretty major ramifications. Now first off, as you can probably guess from the graphic in the background, this is the release in which they added 3D support. Now don't worry, this is still a full-out 2D game engine, it just has 3D functionality now. Um, now another part of this also, and this is my biggest gripe with Cocos, and this has been my gripe with Cocos, with Cocos 2DX, with Cocos Creator, you name it. The people behind it have this bad tendency to just not care about backward compatibility. They re-architect and re-engineer systems that break things, including documentation and people's existing code, all the time. And I'm really sick of it. But today they're taking a slightly different approach. And I'm not sure what I think of it, um, but they're at least... Um, being a little bit more mindful about breaking future compatibility, as we will see. So, without further ado, let us jump in. Now, first off, if you've never heard of it, Cocos Creator is a 2D game engine. It's for desktop and mobile. Uh, it's completely free and cross-platform. Uh, it's based on the Cocos 2DX game engine. Cocos 2DX itself has been around for dozens of years. It's a C++ game engine that has been ported to various different other platforms, which in turn was inspired by Cocos, a game engine written in Python back, you know, about the same time as the moon landing. So, this is a very storied game engine. Now, what we saw today with Cocos Creator 2.1, as I mentioned earlier on, the big thing here is 3D support. Now, of course, don't worry too much about all these links. I will be tossing them down below, as I always do. Um, but what you are most interested with this Cocos 2D, uh, sorry, Cocos Creator 2.1 release is support for 3D features such as 3D model rendering, 3D camera, 3D skeletal animation, 3D point selection, and the Cocos Creator editor now natively supports parsing the 3D model file format FBX and FBX or film box format. It's the standard used at Autodesk, which means 3D Studios Max, Maya, and of course Filmbox, and various other different programs there utilize it, and pretty much every single other third-party game engine, or sorry, uh, content creation tool now supports the FBX format, at least to a certain degree, sometimes with a, a little bit of flaws. Uh, but it is a pretty universal format at this point in time, so if you want to get your 3D model into Cocos Creator, uh, it should be an it-just-works scenario. So that is pretty cool. Now again, they are focusing right here. It should be emphasized that the target user of Cocos Creator is still 2D game development. And the 2D game is still the core service of Cocos Creator 2.x. We will continue to optimize the development experience and perform uh, and basic performance of 2D games and gradually increase the 3D function suitable for integration into 2D games. Therefore, Cocos Creator does not allow a pure 3D game, which is the goal of Cocos 3D, another one just to confuse the lineage even more. So Cocos Creator is all about 2.5D game development. What that means is a lot of times what you do is maybe have static sprite backgrounds and a fixed camera, and then you could have your character sprites being animated fully in 3D. It allows you to do some neat things like dynamic uh, inventory swaps or lighting effects, that kind of stuff. So there are a lot of games out there that are mix and matching between 2D and 3D, and that is what the 3D support in Cocos 2D 2.1 is all about. So, uh, this part is also interesting. So, as I mentioned earlier on, the thing that annoys me by far and away the most about every single Cocos project is their tendency to basically break the existing stuff. And they're taking a different approach here. You will see right here, 2.0 will continue to be maintained. So, basically, they are forking it. So, 2.1 on is actually going to be a new version, and 2 will be grown over a period of time together. So 2.0 will continue to be maintained, adding more performance optimization and bug fixes. We will uh, soon be beta testing 2.0.7. In 2.0.7, the rendering performance of the engine has been optimized, especially spine and dragon bones. Also, the performance has been greatly improved. And then 2.1 is going to be its own thing, and it is going to be more aggressive. What that means is they're going to break much more as it goes. Now, I don't mind that in the early stages of a game engine. You know what you're getting. So if they're basically looking at Cocos Creator 2.1 X branch as a new iteration. I, I'm a bit more tolerant of it. And I don't know what I think of this approach. I, a lot of times when you fork resources like this, one of the two projects will wither on the vine. It's just the nature of the beast. But at the same time, a 
lot of times a mature 2D game engine doesn't really need a whole lot added to it other than stability and performance increases. My biggest gripe, I think, would be they should have done this one version ago. And so it was the 2.0 release where they broke all kinds of things, probably to support this major change that they're doing now. So I think they may have just realized this one version out of date, and now they're trying not to do the damage going forward. But at least they are now mindful of the fact that they cause massive breakages when they do these things. But you know what, the addition of 3D mode to a game engine like this is a pretty big deal. Um, so we go on, complete list of changes. What's new? There is now a 3D node. That is obviously how you would put the uh, 2D into your, your, sorry, the 3D into your 2D world. Uh, newly created nodes are still 2D by default when you only need to click the 2.5D button at the top right of the node to switch to 3D mode. After switching, you then have access to the Z axis, which makes sense. Uh, there's now a 3D camera. Uh, there's 3D model import, as we mentioned earlier. Mesh renderer component, a bone animation component. Uh, we have optimized Optimize automatic gallery build speed, uh, further improved rendering performance, uh, and added simulator debugging functions in Chinese only apparently. Uh, oh, they got both. Uh, automatic texture compression, and then a number of different enhancements. Again, I will link all of these down below. So I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty details here because obviously point blank, the big news here is twofold. Now Cocos Creator supports 3D models and 3D cameras and 3D animations while still being a 2D game engine. So do keep that in mind. This is not meant as a 3D game engine. This is meant as a 2D game engine with 3D support. And again, that is very, very common in the world today. Uh, and almost every 2D game engine is really 3D behind the scenes anyways that just ignores the Z-axis and uses a fixed perspective. So, uh, you know, the addition of 3D model support and uh, animation support is is pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm glad to see that there. And it's interesting to see what they're going to do with that whole forking of 2.1 versus 2.0. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Now, again, I'm very irritated about the 2.0 release, the original one where they broke everything in the first place. So again, I do appreciate the the acknowledgement that they got to stop breaking things so much. Uh, I just don't know if a fork is the way to do it. It'd be interesting to see exactly how it goes. Another nice thing is the V2.0 upgrade guide is now available. That was another downside to the last release is there was no actual details on what they broke, which was also a little frustrating to the community. So Cocos are definitely taking things in a new direction at this point, and that's kind of cool. Uh, speaking of which, if you're interested in the full 2.0 stable version, I have done a full tutorial series. I will link this down below as well but this will get you uh, basically started show you a 2d animation input sound music collision detection physics tile map support all the stuff you basically need to create a 2d game i got you covered i will toss that link down below as well all right so that is it that is the release of coco's creator 2.10 and then the development of this new fork of 3d mode uh, and the stable version of 2.0 uh, what, what do you think down below? Have you been using Cocos? Do you like the addition of 3D? Were you annoyed like I was about how much they broke in the last release? And do you like this forking thing? Uh, that could sound weird, but actually I guess it also sound really accurate. Do you like this forking decision or is it not your favorite? Let me know. Uh, comments down below. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.